Hey, what's up? This Chief, drummer, extraordinaire, producer, um, creator of the Go-Go Loops. I wanted to break down a Go-Go beat and the mechanics of it and what makes it work. Um, i thinking about doing this video for a long time, but what it is, is a, it's quarter notes and it's a, it's a triplet, but it's a swing on it. That's what creates the pocket. That's what creates the feel, and it don't mean a thing if it don't got that swing. So let me demonstrate it for you. So let's say one, two, three. So that's basically what it is. And what I'm doing is, like what I noticed from my playing, being a self-taught drummer and, and, and trying to mimic what I was hearing in Go-Go, and what, be, what creates the, 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 the edge or the, 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 the drive of the pocket is the, it's just basically the way you play the hi-hat. Of course, it's the timing, you know, either attacking or being on the edge of the beat. But it's mainly what you do with the hi hat. So, for instance, when you're hitting the snare, this comes up, right? So maybe if you're in a groove, it might be a little different in the groove. You might keep it like, all right. But when the pocket come in. It get a little more choppy and, and and to make it really crank and give it that time and that space to create that go-go swing, that crank is more like, so you might be in the groove. You notice the hi-hat stays playing. basically creates that feel. And the long open, that's characteristic of, of, of pocket, of go-go beats. ghost notes that you're doing on the snare it creates it helps the beat ride and creates the the lock so to speak with the guitar chucking and the congos so like for instance it might be like you got the different fields and breakdowns um, what I like to do of course if like the music coming in or groove I do a softer more of a, a smoother transition you see what I'm saying that might be for a groove or pocket when it's cranking down with just the break beat then I, I give them something a little more edgy like maybe just double 
devil. Devil's uh, top barbecue or barbecue. Right? For a groove, I give him more. You know, more of a, a roll into like music. And the breakdown, I, I make it more choppy. That might be a groove. You might be going to the bridge. That's, that's mainly it, and it's just a feel on, you know, creating space, maybe slowing down for a slight second or speeding up, attacking or falling behind to create that space and to create that, that groove where the pocket is. So, I say that the beat come in. Break beat. Might be a That second, that brief semi-second, the middle of the timing, just to give it that slightly that pause or attack the beat, depending on what you're doing. If you wanted to drive, you might attack it a little earlier. But mo most times, when the beat's breaking down, you pulling back, so you know you want to make it funky and put it in the groove and just make them, make them feel it. You you dig what I'm saying? <laughs> extras they, they add it don't take much it's just the way you do it you don't have to do too much to to create that space and to create that feel and to give people that wow factor where they making that stink face you know what I mean because it just adds a adds a bounce to the beat I mean you could play it straight hold up let me get that one you can add the bounce with, with the ghost notes on the snare like I was doing accidentally right Sticking technique. Socket beat, go go beat, and a lot of people get the misconception that it's all the same beat, but it's not. It's simple, it's similar in tempo and feel, but it's not the same beat. Like you got, for instance, regular basic go go beat. That was more like the old school beat. It was a little faster than that, but that's a basic beat. Then in the 90s and later on, more uh, beats like this became more popular. That's like the most popular beat in life across all genres. But you might, so a mix of those two beats would be...
because you're stopping on that second snare instead of going all the way through with the kick. The boom, tap, boom, boom. That's more old school, right? Later it became more choppy where it was See and you mix it up. And you got beats like what we used to call Gimme That Beat from James Funk and Foots and Red Essence. socks on my pet my pedal kind of slippery then you got um say you got like this beat we call that the owl baby beat uh so northeast groove was made made that beat famous you know a lot of these beats been around for years but the speed and the feel of them just been changing. So that's just a few. It's, it's a lot of beats, you know, in Go-Go that are used that may sound similar, but they're different, you know. end up being a dope jam, which end up being a bounce beat, right? right? End up being a bounce beat. and the way the mechanics and the dynamics of the beat work. I mean, and um, you just got to sit there and practice and, and play with the feel of it. I learned by playing with, with um, go-go tapes and CDs when I was young. You know, I got a drum set and I would just play with Heavy One or Foots or Essence or Backyard or Northeast or whatever. I get my hands on Chuck Brown just to get the feel of the timing because like I said, it's a quarter note triplet but it's a heavy swing on it which creates the go-go feel and the space that, that, gives, that gives it that rhythm and that groove that makes people want to dance, right? So, I mean, that's, that's what it is, right? And I forgot about the hi-hat play, you know, the tricks you do on the hi-hat, that, that really helps Juju, Sugarfoot, Rick, uh, Buggy's great at it, it's, it's a lot of a play you can do just right here. A lot of tricks to keep to keep it where it need to be. You know, you don't need a lot of pieces. You just got to know how to work. You know, with with the with the just the snare hi hat and the kick. to share that with y'all make sure you subscribe to gogo loops check out what we got going on got a lot of big ideas 
a lot of sounds and uh, samples and loop packs I'm working on. So yeah, check me out. Also, um, the Gogo -Go Loop. Subscribe to the Gogo -Go Loop so I can keep y'all informed on things I'm doing. We also have a YouTube channel. YouTube, Facebook, Gogo -Go Loops. Um, Twitter, IG. It's mostly spelled the same way, Gogo -Go Loops, every, all across the board. G-O dash G-O space loops. Alright, thanks for watching. Out. Oh.